I was out to lunch with a journalist when we were accosted by a couple who stood at the end of our table chanting fake news and pointing at my dining companion. I found myself wondering why this was happening, this was, for me a very unique experience. I decided these two must be deranged Trump supporters, who were goose stepping through my favorite restaurant. All I wanted was to never see either of them again. But then a few minutes later the couple came back by our table and called my dining companion a whale I was outraged. I jumped up and confronted them. I said, by what right do you call this fine journalist a whale He is a good and devoted socialist liberal, who leans toward communism and loves this country as much as any half-deranged kumquat. Liberal? He's not liberal, they shouted back at me. He's a mouthpiece of the political corporate monolith. Spewing out bits of implausible poison with a healthy bit of sowing the seeds of community conflict to keep the officers of the state employed and our corporate prisons full. I turned to my friend and said, is this true? Are you a mouthpiece of the political corporate monolith? And he couldn't look me in the eye. I turned to the couple and said, can't you see that he is struggling, like every journalist? Somewhere in that dead spot where they once had a soul they know that the company that owns them also owns the company that builds the guns, owns the private security firms, runs the markets and buys the political machinery leaving the journalist to write and broadcast what is little more than an inner office memo. I mean what are they really saying? Hi everyone, today we destroyed the world again. Found a new way to distract everyone oh and thank goodness some citizens have done some crappy things so we wouldn't have to do all the lifting and can fill those extra bunks in our prisons. Can you imagine having that job? Seriously? They are more to be pitied than reviled. They looked embarrassed and apologized to my friend and said, I'm so sorry that you're one of the afflicted. After they left I sat down and asked my friend, why did they call you a whale for he gave me a beaten look, they say that is what corporately sponsored news jockeys do. They rush down and report whales on the beach and film them dying when it is the company that they work for or several of their sponsors that are responsible for the whale dying, they're just there to f*** the whale, not to help. Then I thought, I wonder how many whale f***ers have I known after all these years. Then I did what I always do when I've got a journalist's attention. I got myself an appearance and interview to promote my book.